Right guys, the point of this video is a quick sort of introduction recap to the year 10 exam technique that you will need at the end of the year 11. The first question is easy, it's meant to be, okay? All you need is you need two points in detail and you need to make sure you're answering the question. Good way to make sure you're doing this is pick some keywords from the question. If it says explain why, one reason why this happened, dead straightforward tactic to keep you focused on the question. Six mark question, slightly trickier than the four mark question, but you get a source and an interpretation with the source. Your task is to say why you agree, say why you disagree, discuss the provenance, that is the five W's, talk about why they affect the source, so why is the source being made, why does that make it less reliable, why does that make it more reliable, and ultimately a very small conclusion, two sentences to wrap up your answer. If we look at an example of a six mark question, that would probably be the easiest way to get our heads around it. So the source, which is the cartoon you can see, is an anti-communist cartoon published in France after the Second World War. It shows Stalin, the ruler of the USSR, spreading communism throughout Europe and the world. Study source D. Source D shows Stalin's expansion of communism. Do you agree this was the main reason for the start of the Cold War? What you need to do is you need to agree. You need to say this was the main reason for starting the Cold War. So for that you bring in your arguments of how Stalin uh, broke his promises from Potsdam, there were no free elections, and it was his aggressive tactics that upset the Americans. To disagree, you can either say the Americans started the Cold War with their actions, for example the atomic bomb, or um, introduce the idea of Marshall Plan and the Truman Doctrine. Or you could say Stalin was merely being defensive with his tactic. He's not being aggressive, he's just trying to protect himself after what's happened in World War I and then World War II. When you bring in the provenance, you're looking at where it's come from. And as we can see, it's anti-communist. It's published in France. So it's trying to warn the people of France about Stalin, about communism. That therefore makes it less reliable, which means we can't trust it. And its interpretation is going to be biased. The 10 mark question is a really easy way to pick up big marks if you can remember the simple difference between description and explanation. The code we remember it with is DEDEC, and the question will always ask you something along the lines of which had the greater effect on the development of the Cold War, X or Y? In the first paragraph you describe event X, so as much information as you can remember um, about why it happened, uh, what actually happened, how it took place, and then you explain why event X created tension or led to an effect on the Cold War. So a good way to think about that is think about how it links to the bigger picture and how it connects to other events in the Cold War. Um, and then you do the same for event Y. So you describe it, you're giving your facts and information, and ultimately you're explaining the significance. Why does this event matter? Link it to other event, demonstrate to an examiner, you have a developed understanding and you know how it fits in sort of the scheme with other events. And then the conclusion, that's where you sort of really pick up the marks. In the conclusion, discuss both events, say which event did have the greater effect on the development of the Cold War, or which created more tension. Make sure you reach a conclusion, make sure you give an answer. To prove to an examiner you understand history isn't just about telling a story, it's about sort of explaining the significance of events. 